What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be jumping into The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This one is Traversing Hyrule Trailer. This one is 5 minutes and 54 seconds. Now this is probably more like a deep dive. Going to be showing off gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> this is one of the games that after the Nintendo Direct I was like yeah I do. I, I you know they got my money and it's called the Zelda. It's a Zelda game. I, I they got my money already. However, it, it's one of those ones that I'm worried if it's gonna be sticky as far as a Zelda game is concerned because Tears of the Kingdom one was great. Breath of the Wild one was great. I feel like I could always jump back in those games and replay it and still can continue my save file and still find new things, which is still blowing me away from Breath of the Wild not beating the DLC completely and still finding new shrines and, and stuff like that. It blows me away that that is still happening to me over how many years since that game has released. The same thing with Tears of the Kingdom, not beating that game 100%, still finding new stuff blows me away. The remake for Link's Awakening, however, does not feel that way. While it was a great game, great experience, every time I try to jump back to it, I, I, it doesn't give me that same refreshing feeling like I did when I first played it. And I tend to be more into the art style and the, the feeling of playing the original Game Boy, but that could be me because I am an old dad. But you know, let me know what you think about jumping into Link's Awakening. Do you prefer the Game Boy or prefer the new remake style? This game being that new same remake style, but a brand new game. I don't know. Let's jump in. Let's check out the trailer and see if I'm sold. 100% because I'm sold already. But. Welcome to Hyrule, a vast land where Princess Zelda will journey through her grand adventure. Okay, we know Hyrule is going to be the place Hyrule of the game. Hyrule is a land of <laughs> plentiful abundance. From the central What's plateau... New? Where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle tower. Wait, wait, I had to stop it for a second. Was that a... Is this... Oh, for a second I thought this was like a... It may just, it may just be a dungeon right here on the bottom of this um, volcano. But I thought it was a like another evil town for a second. I was like, wait, what the hell is that? From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town. To the Looks beautiful. Most reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people. Looks beautiful. In each of its oh, okay, diverse okay, okay. Interesting people. Look at this. You got destructible environments right off the gate. People in each gonna of need a bomb for that. Regions. The Gerudo Desert or some else that's gonna break in. Dunes as far as the eye can see, and is prone to frequent sandstorms. That's she gets no too problem hot. for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. Okay. There are many ruins full of mysteries here. Nice. And an oasis, a great place to relax. <laughs> Jabul waters. Nobody thinks that's weird. Nobody in the world thinks that's weird that she's just summoning a bed and just sleeping out in the fucking desert like in the wild. An oasis, a great place to relax. She's like shocked but looking but not like Jabul attacking her. Is home to some of Hyrule's most scenic Granted, waters. she is a princess, so. It's also where you can find Oh, we could freely Zora swim. Okay. And the River Zora. Oh. Who each reside in their okay. respective villages. They got villages for both of the Zoras. No, okay. They don't always get along. Nope. What could they be fighting about? Are we going to find out? Daunting cliffs and lava flows dominate the Elden Volcano region. Okay. Kakariko Village is nestled at the mountain's base. All right. But you'll have to brave treacherous trails okay. to reach the home of the Gorons. Gorons. Those rocks may look delicious. Alas, they are not for Hylians. Nope. The Farren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. As you wander the jungle, you might come across a Deku scrub. Yeah. That's Rumor crazy. Has it, these peculiar creatures have a voracious sweet tooth. That looked like the During grandson travels, from the encounter people dealing with problems mass. and small. Keep track of quests Side by browsing quests. your Okay, that's cool. Like. That's cool. That's cool. Helping okay. People with their troubles is a big part of your journey, and wise heroes are often rewarded for their good deeds. That's cool. I like this. I like this. Travel Objects waypoints. known as waypoints are scattered throughout the oh, land. Oh, there they are. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a map. We got a map. We got a map. 
So we got Southern Beach. Oh, we got this village here. A warp here. Wait, can we can we get the map without that? Um, Objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land. And I noticed they're careful of not showing so much of these yet. They're just like having a table on each of Once these you've clips. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting. Okay. Wonder where the, this is like a pond area. Damn, I really wish we got like a super zoomed out of the map. Maybe we, we get it later. Map. And I do want to point out we do see. Quick. Damn. Give me, give me it, give me it. We do see Sun Underground right here. This is like one of the deck you guys. He looks like he's in front of a shop. Turn to it so we got them back. Selecting it on your map. I'm sorry for keep stopping it, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even with the I benefit just... of fast travel, getting around Hyrule can prove challenging. At times yeah, like that's these, fine. why walk when, when you got you a ride? Apona. Gallop right over weaker enemies to send okay. them flying. And hop over small obstacles with ease. Nice. Once you learn to make a carrot echo, you'll be All able to right. call upon your trusty steed from oh, anywhere. Oh, and the it could be oh, it could be white. It could be a white horse too. Different color horses. Did we get As the gan on? You make oh, there we go. Smoothie shops. Man smoothie shops. shops. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious drinks. Okay. Smoothies have different effects based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come in handy during your travels. What does it do? You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. Outfits and accessories? Oh, we got different outfits! Fashionable, oh, look, they're showing it. Okay, they got different Princess Zelda's outfits. Okay. All right, they showed the three that was going to show on the bottom of these. I was going to say, look, there's three outfits right there. They're not, Whether you're they're not showing. Over rugged plateaus, through winding caves, a bad complex Ooh, locales. I like Creating that. Creating echoes is key to success, but sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your okay. other echoes won't move it either. For obstacles like these, Try has got you covered with the power of bind. What? Bind? Oh my god. A massive boulder follow Zelda's movement. Okay. Bonds can help you unearth buried treasure. Okay. This is straight. <laughs> nice. This is straight also up. Use bind on your echoes. I forget the so um. And find ways to forge nice. it. Nice. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can use reverse. Nice. Bind to echoes. Take advantage of a creature's wow, ability to Wow. This fly. is cool. Or to move around quickly. Swapping between bind and reverse bond is a great way to find clever paths forward. Nice. Let your imagination oh my god, wow, this is cool. And we could climb trees too. Sorts of ideas. Use That's bind cool, in bro. With your echoes to overcome obstacles. Understanding how these two abilities work together will be essential oh, he to your still... progress. <laughs> I was going to say, you can still fight. They, you drop them in holes. That's cool. Okay. Hyrule Castle getting. Oh my god. This All of the. the... Are overtaking Hyrule. Okay. And the bad guys are jumping out of it. That means it's being controlled by somebody. What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? What's that? There's only one way to find out. Yep, let's go in it. The Legend oh, of Zelda Oh, come on. They're not going to show us. September 26th. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Switch system. We still haven't seen like Nintendo a definitive e bad guy um yet, which to me is intriguing that that we they they you know we're this close to the game's releasing and we don't well we we did see the like link fight like a look like a version of like ganon like the the pig ganon or whatever we still haven't seen like who's doing these riffs or who's going to be the 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 quote unquote bad guy what's actually happening that's causing this to happen because from what it looks like in the fight with Link in that pig version again and whatever the case may be. It doesn't look like any of them caused that big giant rift to happen inside of Hyrule Castle. So I do wonder what is going to be like the quote big bad guy or the big, you know, thing that we're going to be doing in this game. As far as like, are we collecting stones, tears, or, you know, instruments? Like uh, that's still unknown. You know what I'm saying? 
we do know that we are going to be completing quests for a lot of different people in the different parts of the region we do see that because we do know that we're going to the, the zoras even both of them and then they they, they show off the goron we are going to be seeing them and going towards them and then do, as well as the the decus and stuff like that so we are traversing all of hyrule and seeing a bunch of these different villages even you know what I'm saying? So, and then, look, that one was a main quest. That one was a main quest. That wasn't a side quest right there. So, it says Ancestor's Cave of Rest Rift. It's a main quest. So, destination, we got to just find out. And it's a rift ripping through whatever this cave is. Again, it, it, it's still a lot of questions to be answered. And I don't think we're going to get those before the game's release because we could have been seeing that via a story and stuff like that. Um, and then look, we do get some more, um, quest info right there. So we get main quest, Ancestors Cave Rift. That's the one that it says. It says the torches at the grave site inside of the Ancestors Cave of Rest have gone out, but the rift is blocking the path. The Gerudo soldiers does not know how to access the torches to re-enlighten them. Just shoot them with a fire arrow. It says the rift in the Gerudo Desert, searching for everyone, the mysterious rift. So I think the rifts are obviously the main thread line and everyone trying to figure out what's going on with the rifts and how to maybe close them. But it, it, like it, we have yet to see that we can do that. So maybe using Zelda's powers to, div to traverse around them to get um stuff done like relight the candles and stuff like that maybe but i i, I do think there's still certain certain stuff that we're going to be doing around the world that it's not clear that they haven't showed or spoiled then we get the little side quest that says finding finding the flying plant up a wall tumbleweaves uh tornado ghost okay cuckoos on the loose and probably Got to find the cuckoos and early man from the top of the village is hoping to cheer up his wife with a flying plant. He last saw it near some caves in the deep. And you probably got to get the plant and give it to him. So, again, overall, this, this is a good trailer showing off everything as far as mechanic reveal of showing off the echoes and stuff like that. Reassuring us that the world is going to be crazy big because the, the name of the tr the trailer is traversing through Hyrule, so they were showing us how we're going to be doing that with these um, um, spawn points and stuff like that, with these um, fast travel points, with the horse. You know what I'm saying? You know, even with the echoes, with some of the echoes you could uh, use to help you transform and stuff like that. I think one of the biggest reveals in this trailer is this, where we do get a brand new like added move set to zelda where she can basically move objects as she moves and basically to do the same thing if the object is a moving object she can make it move her like the opposite way which again i think is pretty cool they haven't shown that they and they didn't show that in the first trailer them showcasing it here is pretty cool it opens up even more stuff and gives us more stuff to dive into and to think about before the game even comes out so i think it's going to be pretty cool again this trailer is fire shows uh, a lot of different things i go on for um hours explaining and deep diving and stuff like that and look son's uh little kitty cat is up here look this guy down here probably gonna have to get this kitty cat off the off this windmill for sure he looks pretty worried and then the cat is up there um I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this uh, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom trailer. I think it was pretty cool with everything that they showcased and, um, you know, kind of talked about in this. I don't want to give it a grade. I think giving it a grade is kind of lame because it's, it's over five minutes and it's not just a trailer to just sell us on the game. It's more so a deep dive conversation with a narrator explaining mechanics of the game. And when they do stuff like that, while I do react to it and I do think it's cool, I do think that it is kind of cheating for how much they shown and how much content is explained versus a regular trailer. So I'm not going to grade it. What was that? I just noticed we've seen um, the Garuto standing next to somebody in blue. Who's that? Is that just a merchant? And is this this girl, the queen? 
And who is this guy? Huh. If you guys know, you gotta have to let me know in the comment section below. But that is interesting. It's the first time I've seen this guy at all. Very interesting. Let me know what you think of, of the, the trailer in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Do videos like this every day. Talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. And yes, I am going to get Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And I will be doing my playthrough when it drops on September 26th. So be, again, if you want to check it out, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Daddy, gamer, Fred, the trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!